welcome to s chand academy uh, i am dr rupasna in the first part we covered the failure of first law of thermodynamics and the factor responsible for the spontaneity of the reaction and we studied the carnot cycle via carnot engine and we found that how efficiency of the carnot cycle comes out to be less than 1 In this part, we will study how this efficiency of the uh, Carnot cycle gives birth to the very famous thermodynamic function called entropy of the system. We will derive its relation. We will know more about the uh, randomness that is uh, entropy in this particular topic. So. Hello I am Dr Rupasna to know more about this topic you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing and the link of the ebook is given in the description box the efficiency of carnot engine was found to be 1 minus q2 by q1 and we know from the first law that q is also directly proportional to the temperature of the reservoirs so i can also write this as 1 minus t2 by t1 so if i equate this relation q1 with q1 with t1 and q2 with t2 we find that q2 by q1 is equal to t2 by t1 or q1 by t1 equal to q2 by t2 or q by t comes out to be constant so this q by t factor is the factor which is responsible for the changes occurring in the heat engine this property is called entropy before moving on to the entropy first let us see what are the statements of second law of thermodynamics The second law of state therm thermodynamic was given by various uh, chemists and uh, it is by first one is by Kelvin and Planck it says that it is impossible for any device that operates in a cycle to receive heat from a single reservoir and produce a net amount of work that means you have to have minimum two reservoirs for a for an engine to work one will act as a source another will act as a sink Clausius says that heat can never pass from a colder system to a warmer system without some other change connected there with occurring at the same time that means the changes are directional in nature the heat energy will always flow from a hotter uh, object to a cooler object it can never be in a reverse direction so entropy is given by the symbol s and it is defined as the degree of randomness it is defined as a degree of disorderness disorderness or randomness and for a reversible system the change in the entropy of the system is given by change in the heat dq reversible at temperature t so the what is randomness randomness is the uh, system which is uh, at rest initially like uh, when we had not provided any combustion to the fuel then these fuels were uh, fuel particles were at certain energy level uh and they are oriented in a certain manner but when this when the combustion reaction takes place the some amount of energy is utilized to increase the threshold for the uh, system threshold uh, for the gaseous system and then the work is performed so it is not like when uh, you give heat and directly isothermal expansion takes place and you uh, give heat you take out heat compression takes place there is some part of energy that is used for the uh, for uh, the for increasing the entropy of the system the molecules collide with one another after during collision they reach certain activation energy level and after that they perform work so uh, we can also say that it is increasing the internal energy of the system so this is the uh, this is the formula of entropy of a system for reversible process now what is clausius inequality according to clausius 
we know that the overall in a, uh, change in the entropy is given by s universe universe is equal to change ha changes happening in the entropy of the system plus changes happening in the entropy of surrounding so when it is a reversible work okay then exactly same amount of entropy change will occur in the surroundings but when it is the irreversible work there will be certain other changes that will occur in the surrounding and hence the overall energy or overall entropy of the uh, universe is always increasing so in the clausius inequality as a word inequality inequality means that the entropy of the system will be will not be equal to anything it will be greater than zero so uh, for all the irreversible processes the entropy of the system according to clausius inequality the entropy of the uh, irreversible system is always greater than zero we will uh, see what will be the entropy for reversible system now for reversible system as i uh, for a reversible process as we know that uh, the entropy of the system if it is q by t the same amount of dq by t the same amount of change equal and opposite change will take place in surroundings in surroundings that will be equal to minus dq by t so the overall entropy change for a reversible process is zero for an irreversible process the entropy change will not be equal to zero it will be greater than zero as there will be certain other value let's say i have written ds for reversible system as q divided by t dq divided by t i will write d of s of surrounding as some other value of q minus of dq of 1 divided by t because now the and uh, it will not be an equal and opposite change so your d of the overall system will be irreversible system will be greater than 0 will be greater than 0 now the most important uh, relation that comes is for ideal gas now for ideal gas we know that uh, du is equal to the what is first law it is equal to dq plus dw and from the second law we have got the relation as tds plus minus of pdv right so du is equal to tds minus of pdv uh, now how will we find out ds from here we from this we also know that du can be represented in terms of heat capacity it can it is written as cv dt equal to tds minus pdv so after this point if we consider the system to be ideal system ideal gas system i can write pv is equal to nrt and if i am taking it for one mole i can write pv equal to rt so this will be this p can be written as rt by v substitute this in this expression you will get now i will write molar here because it is for one mole cv m dt equal to tds minus rt by v dv on integrating the this expression within the limits t1 to t2 and v1 to v2 we get the final expression as we get tds is equal to cv m dt plus rt by v dv integrating this within the limits and considering heat capacity at constant volume molar heat capacity at constant volume independent of temperature we get integrating within the limits t1 to t2 v1 to v2 we got we get final expression of delta s as cvm muller ln of t2 by t1 
प्लस आर टी एल एन ऑफ वी टू बाई वी वन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी स्टडिट द ओरिजिन ऑफ सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स हाउ द हीट इंजन्स आर ऑपरेटेड वॉट आज द origin of carnot cycle how the efficiency of heat engine comes out to be less than 1 what is the reason then we moved to the uh, entropy part entropy is the randomness that is uh, required by the system and then we derived the entropy for reversible and irreversible processes and for ideal gaseous system and that has a certain formula to know more about this topic you can refer to the book by s chand publishing and the link of the ebook is given in the description box if you found this topic interesting please like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future permission of the copyright holder